So here comes our next competitor. Oh, something to do with cricket, definitely. Cathy Chambers and Amber with El Briar Can Can is the kettle name. It's a golden retriever. He's five years old, or she's five years old. It's a bitch, of course. The music they're going to use: So Limbo and the Ashes Song by Booker T and the MGs and MCC 1970. You'll recognise it. First time at Cruft with this dog. This wasn't really Amber's. Very, very upsetting. But the, the, the dog was obviously needed to do what it had to do and uh, wasn't able to concentrate on the routine. So Cathy will be terribly disappointed with that. But that does happen. It's very unfortunate. They, they said they would come into the ring and they would enjoy every minute of it. Well, I don't think Cathy will have enjoyed it quite as much as she would have wanted to. But it's not the dog's fault. It's just one of those things. The dog couldn't concentrate uh, when it wasn't really ready to perform. Very distressing for him. Anyway, here we go. We've now got the score for Helen Dennis on uh, the screen. And uh, this puts them into the lead. A uh, total score of 24. And that does put them nicely in the lead. No deductions there. I haven't found out what the deductions were for um, Leslie Neville yet. So I can't really inform you on any more of that. But 24 is the total score. And there we see some of that routine. So I wasn't surprised that they went into the lead. I don't think... Uh, Kathy and uh, Amber are going to overtake them, but we'll see whether our next competitor coming into the ring can do any better. Here we've got Kay Lawrence, and Kay has her dog Janabakov Light Merlo, nine-year-old dog, a working sheep dog, actually known as Time, and the music Paint It Black, the name of the band, Ramin Dujabar. <laughs>
that really was remarkable control. I, I wasn't sure where she was going with the routine, but it was very, very clever. A great patience and a lot of skill, and the dog's response to every movement K made with the, uh, that rod is, it was tremendous. I, I'm very impressed with that. I'd be interested to see how the judges regard it. I thought it was excellent. Those are the three parts of the routine the judges are judging. Ten marks on each. The higher the marks on each, the better it is. So we're now looking for the marks for Kathy Chambers, which was a little bit disastrous for her. In fact, she was eliminated because the dog uh, let her down, shall we say. So no score, she was actually disqualified. So we'll get uh, Kay's score after our next performer. And mainly using clicker training, and it's all trained with food. You couldn't force a dog to do something like that. So, uh, we'll perhaps get to have another little chat about that. But if you want to know more, it's all. Well, look at that control that uh, Kay is showing there. So, we're speeding up there. And the she, she didn't appear to speak at any point. The dog responded remarkably all the way through. I was very impressed with that. Uh, it may not score terribly well, we'll wait and see. But coming into the ring now, we've got Lucy Heath with Trip. This is a little crossbred uh, dog called Trip Hazard. He's three years old, and they're going to be performing to the theme to Mission Impossible, which could describe the, what they're actually doing there. We'll wait and see. Adam Clayton and Larry Mullen, the artists. Adam Clayton and Larry Mullen. So, Lucy, how you go? Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to steal the world's biggest diamond from the museum.
your hands up. Get down on the ground. You're under arrest. Well, that was certainly the, uh, the cutest performance so far. It may well be the leading one as well. A lot of very good things in there. One or two little errors, but uh, nice idea, well worked out, well performed. Cute little dog, delightful performance. So uh, we have a lot of fun watching the, uh, the freestyle competition. Of course, uh, we'll have heel work to music tomorrow, which is uh, slightly more rigid in the way it's controlled. Uh, just looking at the scores there for Kay Lawrence. Kay Lawrence just goes into second place, 23.9. Good score for her but not enough to take first place. So she's in second at the moment, still in the lead. We've got Helen Dennis with Came By and Away, Pure Love. Just looking at Kay's uh, performance there, just a reminder of what she was doing there. We just saw Lucy Heath doing Mission Impossible. Taking the diamond, will they take the prize? We'll wait and see. But well done, Kay. That was... Uh, Similar to what she did last year, but more definitely more exciting, more variety in it, and uh, very enjoyable. Second place she is. Here we've got Cathy Bates with Sybil. Russ Cat Lyrical Image is the Kennel Club name. It's a working sheepdog, five-year-old bitch. Uh, the Rose is the music they're dancing to by Beth Midler. Fabulous piece of music, one of my favourite movies, actually. Cathy's competing in Crufts in both this and Hillwork to Music before for the past four years. She also competes in competition obedience. Cathy Bates and Sybil. Some say love it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say
What a lovely finish there. Kathy Bates with Sybil. That really was lovely. Some very delicate moves in there that I think will score quite highly. Very well done indeed. And we've seen some uh, fascinating performances so far. And we have a new leader. This is uh, Lucy Heath with Trip. 24.47. Not really surprising. I thought that was a very good routine. And, of course, Lucy and Tripp were finalists in 2016 in the Britain's Got Talent uh, competition. They were finalists in that. So this was just part of that uh, performance. There were one or two errors in it, but uh, it really was uh, deserving to go into the lead. So Lucy is in the lead with little Tripp. That's a cute little dog. Look. <laughs> That's nice.